1957, a nuclear explosion propelled a manhole cover at 67 kilometers per second. In American terms, that's 41 miles per second. Within milliseconds, the manhole shot past the atmosphere, potentially reaching space. At the core of a tiny nuclear bomb, just 0.3 kilotons, a single neutron slams to the nucleus of a radioactive isotope. The nucleus splits releasing fragments and also a ton of energy and more neutrons. Those neutrons go to hit more nuclei, triggering a violent and rapid chain reaction that ends in a nuclear explosion. Out of 30 kilograms of plutonium, only 0.1% of the mass was converted into pure energy. Other bombs are in the orders of tens of thousands of kilotons. This was the Pasco B nuclear test, a part of Operation Plum Bob and the Nevada nuclear test site. Let's see what the launch might have looked like. In one and a half seconds, we passed the Kármán line at 100 kilometers, reaching space. If we didn't instantly disintegrate, we'd be on trajectory out of the solar system. The entire United States and parts of North America are now coming into view. In one and a half hours, we'd already be at the moon. This manhole would eventually swing by the sun, getting a gravity assist before leaving our solar system forever. Where's the manhole now? The manhole will approximately be a thousand astronomical units away from us, or 1.5% of the light year. Since its departure 67 years ago, it's well past Neptune and even the theorized Planet 9. It would now be a small, embezzled hunk of charred iron, drifting away for many more years to come as it floats into the dark and cold void of the Oort cloud, with 50,000 more years to go before it passes within a light year of another star. Like and comment what you want to see next.